What's up everybody? Welcome to Top 10 Character Moments. Today we're breaking down my list for the top 10 best moments of Cal Kestis. Be warned as there will be spoilers from both Jedi Fallen Order and Jedi Survivor in this video. We're closing in on 300 subscribers, so if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe, and if you have, tell your friends, family, neighbors, let them know that this channel is the place to be. And then tell them to go over to my other YouTube channel called Sector for Nerds, link in the description below. And subscribe there as well, as I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers over there by the end of this year. Alright you guys, let's get into some honorable mentions before cracking the top 10, shall we? First up, meeting BD1. It's an important moment for Cal, because BD ends up becoming his travel buddy through every adventure he has. Next up, meeting Saw Gerrera. It was cool seeing Force Whittaker back as Saw, and him interacting with our main character was awesome. Their meeting actually helps Cal decide his future after he splits up with the Mantis crew, because at the start of Jedi Survivor, we learn that Cal is working with Saw. And finally, surviving Order 66. This was our first big Order 66 scene that we had in a long time. Nowadays, it feels like we get one every show. Clone Wars, Bad Batch, Book of Boba Fett, The Mandalorian. The funny thing is, I still go crazy every time they give us a new scene. I mean, it's one of the biggest moments in Star Wars. The galaxy forever changes with this event. Poor little Cal had to watch his master die protecting him. Dealing with that loss affected him through Fallen Order, but eventually he is able to move on from it. Alright you guys, let's get into the top 10 list itself. You guys ready? Here we go. At number 10, defeating the Ninth Sister. This was so nice, he did it twice. First on Kashyyyk where we thought she died, and then on Coruscant where he definitely killed her. Inquisitors are powerful, so anytime you can take one out, it's impressive. At number 9, getting his confidence back on Ilum. This was when Cal was at one of his lowest points. He feels like all hope is lost, but his confidence gets restored by BD when he sees one of his recordings of Cordova. Failure is not the end, it is a necessary part of the path. It's such an emotional moment. Cordova knew BD would find someone to help the way he helped him, but his memories would be erased and only restored with a trusted connection with someone. Can someone pass me a tissue? What? No, I'm not crying. I just have allergies. At number 8, defeating Bode. After being betrayed by his friend, Cal must travel to Tantalor to confront Bode and end him once and for all. He and Marin give him a chance to surrender for his daughter's sake, but he refuses, resulting in Cal killing him. The final boss battle in Jedi Survivor was a massive pain in the butt. At number 7, reuniting with Marin. After being separated for several years, Cal and Marin reunite on Jeddah while the Jedi makes his way to find Seer. They immediately start flirting with one another, and I was there for it. They even snuggle in a cave together, and I went crazy for it. Oh. Oh shit, let's go! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! At number 6, not fully giving in to the dark side. Now, I say not fully, but he definitely gave in to it for a few moments. Made the game easier since he was killing people a lot quicker, lol. But the moment when he's about to kill Denvik out of anger, Marin stops him, saying, The Empire has taken enough from us, I won't lose you too. I think in that moment, it made Cal snap out of it. But it does make things all the more interesting if they decide to do a third game. Like Seer said in Fallen Order, every Jedi faces the dark side. Well, seems like that battle might still be raging on for Cal. At number 5, becoming a Jedi Knight. It wasn't a traditional ceremony with the Council and whatnot, but it was good enough. Happened in the moment right before they go to Fortress Inquisitorius. I'd say becoming a knight is a big deal for our boy. But speaking of Fortress Inquisitorius, segue. At number 4, defeating Trilla slash taking back the Holocron. After multiple encounters with the second sister and not being able to defeat her, Cal finally is able to do it at her home base. His power has grown a lot since he began his journey with the Mantis crew, so it makes sense to me that he was able to do it. Like I said before, it does take a lot to defeat an Inquisitor as they are powerful. Again, it's impressive. Impressive. 
most impressive. But you know what's just a little bit more impressive? Give me those segues. At number three, surviving an encounter with Darth Vader. Man, I'm on a roll today. Now, notice I didn't say defeat Vader, because sorry, Cal, that's kind of an impossible task unless you're Luke Skywalker or Galen Merrick. Shout out to Starkiller. Cal runs from the Dark Lord, but then is forced to fight him after being surprised by him on the other side of a door, which I'm pretty sure we all freaked out first time playing through that game. I know I did. Oh, get out of there, Cal. Ah, he's right there. <laughs> oh, how screwed Cal would have been had not Seer showed up. Now, to be fair, it was a team effort to get out of the fortress. Between Seer fighting Darth and Cal blowing a hole in the base, Cal was able to swim with Seer to safety. Well, technically, Marin had to save them both as Cal was about to run out of breath. But regardless, very few people survive an encounter with Vader. So the fact they did, again, most impressive. Impressive. Most impressive. At number two, continuing Seer's mission, after her death, Cal, Marin, and Grease all agree to continue Seer's work with the Path. They vow to make Tantalor a safe haven for those looking to escape from the Empire. It's one of the most honorable things I've seen Cal do, helping others who can't help themselves. I look forward to seeing how Cal's story continues forward, whether it's in a third game or even possibly a second season of Kenobi. And finally, at my number one favorite Cal Kestis moment, choosing Marin. What I liked about this so much is it wasn't just a quick, oh, let's be together and ride off into the sunset. It was much more complicated than that. Cal is a Jedi, meaning they are forbidden from attachments, but it's clear he really cares about Marin, and vice versa. Cal eventually figures out what he wants, or more specifically, who he wants, and it's like the most satisfying part of the game. I enjoyed it so much. I know what I want now. Yes! Long Hell yeah. Yeah! Let's go! That a boy, Cal. That a boy. So there you have it, guys. That's my list for the top 10 best Cal Kestis moments. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite Cal moments are and why. Be sure to stay tuned every Friday for my latest top 10 video next week. I'll be breaking down my picks for the top 10 best moments of Rocket the Raccoon. Thank you all for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week.